Now, President Mahama has promised to commit more resources into health care delivery in his second term when given the mandate. The president made the remark when he inspected ongoing works on the Upper West Regional Hospital as part of his accounting to the People Tour of the Upper West Region. <laughs> President Mahama with his entourage were welcomed at Wa by scores of people. The president first inspected ongoing work on the Upper West Regional Hospital, which has been one of the major priorities of the people of Wa and surrounding communities. The Wa Hospital is to support health care delivery in the entire region. The contractor working on the project, Ahmed Abu Amar, taking the president through the project, said the hospital was 75% complete. From there, the team paid a courtesy call on the Wana and chiefs of the Wala traditional area. On behalf of Wana, the paramount chief of Wala traditional area, Alhaji Fuseni Seydou Pelpo IV appealed to the president to expand some major roads and infrastructure in the municipality. President Mahama assured the chiefs and people of Wa that the Wa airstrip will be ready by October and will be inaugurated for commercial flights to enhance the transport sector. It is our intention to commence commercial flights into Wa by October this year. Work is ongoing on the terminal building, we are using a temporary structure. Eventually, we are looking for a new site to build a permanent airport for WA. Means that by October, we can have commercial flights uh, coming from Accra to WA and back. President Mahama also said the WA hospital would be ready in October. The hospital is a state of the art hospital. Every medical service you will get in Kolibu Hospital. Wana, you will get here in Wa. Indeed, it is going to be a hospital that the people of Upper West Region will be very proud of. He announced Laura Nandom Hamilton so, Roads and some Wa Municipal Assembly Roads would be asphalted. Meanwhile, President Mahama has commissioned a 350 capacity library in the Upper West Region to promote quality education delivery. The President also inspected some ongoing projects at the University for Development Campus in WA as part of plans to make the WA campus autonomous. Government intends to establish a public university in every region as part of its plans to expand access to education. President Mahama was at the WA campus of the University of Development Studies to inspect key projects with intention of making the university autonomous. The president encouraged the contractors to deliver on time. We are satisfied with the progress of work. We are sure that by December, um, several of these projects will be ready. We also have to upgrade the faculty. And so it means that more lecturers have to be um, engaged if the campuses are to stand alone as autonomous uh, universities. So government is continuing the process, and I'm sure that with the pace of work that is going on, sooner rather than later, we will see uh, three additional uh, universities in the northern part of this country. He also noted it was crucial to upgrade infrastructure of the various campuses of the university to be autonomous. One of the important steps we must take is to upgrade the infrastructure in each of the three campuses so that they can stand alone as a university institution. And that is why we've asked the GET Fund to accelerate infrastructure development here. As you're aware, when you saw the lecture complex, lecture room complex, it's not an auditorium. It's a lecture room, seminar rooms for uh, students and lecturers to use. The president also inspected a 350 capacity Upper West Regional Library under construction. The library will have capacity of containing 150 adults and 200 children at a time to enhance academic excellence in the region.